bashed about mabagal daw ang IE. Okay? Sometimes, hindi naman, sometimes hindi naman talaga IE nagiging cause ng problem. These are plugins inside IE that prevents it from the registration of the So what Microsoft did is they gave, they added a feature called Add-on Performance Advisor. Okay? So it will analyze the system kung may mabagal na na add-on siya. And as you can see from here, may warning na na-open ako. Okay? Speed up browsing by disabling new add-ons. Once I click yung choose add-ons, I get to see a video like or a screen like this. And as you can see, one of the slow add-ons that I have is yung Microsoft or yung Messenger Combined Companion, which takes a longer time to load. Okay? So I now have the option to actually disable this. Okay? Next, in terms of uh, performance, searching is now very much easier using yung one box. Okay? If you look at yung one, yung dito, you don't have a search box anymore sa top right, diba? unlike before. Basically, your address bar now serves as a search criteria na rin, or search box na rin. So you can type anything that you like, anything that you like. Okay? And as you can see, it is able to look for... Okay? It is able to search immediately sa, sa Google or sa Bing Panga. Okay? And you can choose whatever search provider that you like. Oops. Hello, world. Okay. So automatically, you can search your favorite search browsers for this. Okay. So yung one bar then, uh, there are a lot of complaints. Ang liit lang daw ng one bar. Okay. So sabi pwede naman slide ganun. Okay. So let's let me slide this to the right. So lalaki siya. Nagiginig lamang naman kung mo konti naman yung space sa tab. O balik mo dun. So, eh, mamaya ko dati discuss yung tungkol sa tabs na yan. But basically, you can increase yung size ng one bar mo by scrolling it to the left or to the right. Okay. Now, the next would be interface. So, these are tips and tricks that what you can do to enhance or basically kung ano nakasanayan natin. For one thing, you notice that yung status bar usually or by default wala, right? Okay? People sometimes rely on that. They get to see yung loading screen. They get to see yung, ano, or yung, yung hyperlink na hina-highlight nila, whatever are yung hyperlink na yun. Okay? You can show yung toolbars and status bar by hitting out, then go to view, then toolbars, so you can check yung status bar para mag-show siya sa baba. Okay? Now loading. I can uncheck that, so wala na siya doon. By default, wala siya. If you want it to show, it to view, toolbars, status bar. Okay. Yeah. Next, disable tab previews in taskbar. Okay, so if you notice, if you have a lot of windows open or tabs open, if you hover on your Windows or Internet Explorer, marami siya nakalabas. Okay? Sometimes, ang complaint dyan is, kla, ano na, club na yung, ano, yung, even yung thumbnails nila. Well, you can disable yung viewing like that by okay, disabling your tab previews in your taskbar. Basically, go to your Internet Explorer or yung, yung Internet Options nyo. Internet Options. Then, go to Settings under Tabs. Okay? And you can uncheck Show Previews for Individual Tabs. So, what you will get is a preview of the topmost tab nung window na yun. So, if you have three windows of IE, then you'll see three previews lang. Okay? Hindi lahat ng tabs open on all uh, IE sessions nyo. Okay? But of course, syempre gusto nyo, you can navigate through each one pa rin with ease. You can enable yung quick tabs naman. So enabling quick tabs actually would require you to restart your browser. So let me just restart my browser. So stay at no? So if you press... I Google. I Google. You Google. You Google. 
Yes, actually, ano, I like Bing, but marami pa niya ako nakukuha ang results kay Google so far. Hindi ka naging isa, marami sila. Eventually, if Bing surpasses Google, might be, ano, might be. Hey. Next, yun, zooming. Hey. So if you don't have your status bar open, you won't have access to your zoom controls dito. So the best way to zoom is basically control plus, control minus. Or if you have a mouse, hold down control, scroll up to zoom in, scroll down to zoom out. Okay? Kung gusto yung instant 100%, control 0, 100% pwede siya. Okay? Next. So this is you know, one of the main features of IE, enhanced tabs. Okay? So I'd like to you, ano, share muna yung mga keyboard shortcuts. Okay? So this actually saves you time from moving your hands nyo from your keyboard to your mouse, back to your keyboard to your mouse. Okay? Control, so, delete. <laughs> okay, so Control-T actually enables you to open up a new tab. So, pwede ka mag Control-T na mag Control-T. There you have new tabs. And to close new tabs na yung Control-W naman. Okay, next. Control-W naman allows you to duplicate yung current browser mo, yung tab mo. So, let's say you're browsing yung favorite website natin. So, gusto mo i-duplicate ito so that you can have this we window pa rin or website pa rin. You know, you know, you know, you know, green background. Press nyo lang control K. So, as you can see, duplicate yung ano. Okay? Even yung history ng browsing, yung mga back, if you have a lot of websites already gone through, duplicate din yan. Parang may question ako doon. Ano yung question mo? Baka nagdo-dual login pag sa ano? Baka mag-conflict kasi nagdo-dual login. Sa Facebook? Oo, yeah. Actually, hindi. And it's actually nice. Kaya sa ibang website, baka nagdo-dual login. Siguro na-experience nyo sa ano, di ba? Yung pag naka-Facebook kayo. Pag nag-re-refresh siya ito sa window mo, mag-offline, mag-online yung tao. Offline, online. By having two windows ng Facebook, always online kayo. Ayan. Hindi na nag-offline, online. A. Control N gives you a new browser instead. Control Tab allows you to go through each of yung sa tabs nyo. Control Shift Tab, paurong naman siya. May nakikita silang glitch doon sa Facebook. Saan? Tawa ng tawa. A. Now yung question dyan. Balik muna tayo doon. A. Diba? One of the complaints is pag in-expand mo na yung one box mo, Dumiliit yung area mo for your tabs. What you can do is you can right click anywhere here and show tabs on separate row. Now you have a full length one box and you have a new layer for your tabs. Okay. Yes. This one. Nagawa ko to adjust siya pag nabuno na yun. So pag dumami yun. Sige pa! Sige pa! Sige pa! Para! 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 Yay! Yan. So, the... One, another thing that you can do is yung arrow, yung tab ripping. Ano ba yung tab ripping na yan? This is specially useful if you're trying to compare two websites. Okay? So, the neat thing is, each tab can be ripped out of your current browser yeah, so that it will open up a new browser window. You can bring it back to the to, or join it to another to the same window if you want. Okay? But the neat thing is it is already integrated with your Windows 7 so that it works with AeroSnap. So let's say you want to compare this page, let's say Snapdrag put it shell, we'll just put it back there. So lagi nate in Windows 7 ako doon. So you want, I want to open this, the two websites at the same time and I want to view them both at the same time. So I can drag this and stick it to the right, drag the other one, stick it to the left. Okay. So as you can see, I just dragged and now I have the left step on the left and the right pane. Okay? So that's tab ripping with arrow snap. 
Okay. Now, feeding sites naman. Feeding sites is a very cool feature, di ba? You can actually pin Facebook or pin any website okay, by dragging it to the taskbar. So, since we Facebook now, dito, close ko siya. Okay. So, if I want to pin this to my, my taskbar, all I need to do is drag this all the way to the taskbar. And it, it now becomes a feature or basically an IE built for Facebook. Okay. The thing is, first time lang nakaramdam kaya masaya. First time masaya. Nice game. <laughs> 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 